Close your eyes and try to find a comfortable way of breathing, one that's not too long, too short, too fast, too slow, too heavy or too light. Try to find out what is just right for you right now. This is where we have to use our discernment. If you do things to extremes, it doesn't require much discernment, it just requires a lot of willpower. But figure out what's just right. You have to be very observant. You have to watch things over time. This requires patience and persistence. Persistence in that you keep at it. Patience in that you're willing to keep at it long enough to see what's actually going on. And both the patience and the persistence can be nourished by the sense that the breath is comfortable. After all, it is the force of life. If you weren't breathing right now, if you held your breath, you'd be pretty miserable after a few minutes. So breathing is what feels good. You want to make it feel better. Giving yourself something to fall back on like this is, is an important strength. The Buddha talks about different strengths for the mind. And the strength of concentration is an important one. It's, it's food for the mind. It's shelter for the mind. When things outside are going in a way that's not to your liking, you have another place to go. And when you're dealing with difficult people, you can still maintain your sense of your space inside your body. They don't have to invade your space. So it's like having an air-conditioned room on hot days and having a nice warm room on cold days. A place where you can be at your ease. This is your space. So make the most of it. For most of us, we don't stay in our space very much. We're out looking at the world. It's like a little kid running into the house, grabbing a sandwich, then going out, coming back in, running out again. Doesn't have a real sense that home is a place where you can stay. And of course, when you're running around like that, you're exposed to all kinds of dangers. You don't have the strength and the protection that comes from being at home. So try to make your mind at home with the breath. Take this space and decorate it inside and fix it up inside so it's a really nice place to stay. And then this becomes your strength, this, the strength of your goodness. Because we live in a world that seems to be bent on destroying everybody's goodness. It's encouraging us to be greedy, encouraging us to get angry, encouraging us in all kinds of unskillful ways. So you need something to resist that encouragement. You have to encourage the good things inside yourself. This is the way your goodness survives. When you make it independent of other people's goodness, independent of other people's opinions. Because you've got the strength inside where you can depend on yourself.